Hello guys and welcome back to JS Graphics. In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to max images using the Tom Paper effect. All right, so I'm going to take this and then I'll import my image. I'll import my um, the initial image I used. So go over to my download and I will import this. All right, so guys, I'm going to increase this um, to a desired size and then I'll position it um, this way. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do from here is to get the Tom Paper um, PNG. All right, so the Tom Paper PNG can be downloaded online and you can also use the one I'm using right now. So the link as usual will be in the video description. So I'll head over to my downloads and I'll import the Tom Paper PNG. All right, so what I'm going to do from here is to rotate this now to the desired um, angle I want it to be. So the desired part of the face I want to mask. So in this video, I'll be maxing these two images, all right? So I'm just going to place this at the desired point. It can be half of each of the face, but I just decided to make different designs for this one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to copy this and I'll place it at the second image at a different um, angle. Right. So from here, what I'm going to do next now is to duplicate my initial image, which is this one. I'm going to click on the layer and I will copy. So I'm going to make sure it is at the center. So this way. I'm going to do the same for the other one. So place it at the centers. All right, so I will need to, to replace this variable since it wasn't at the center earlier. So I'll need to place it again to get the part I want to um, mask. So after I've done this, I'll just click on one of the uh, images and I will I uh, will head over to color filter and I'll reduce the saturation to this. All right. So the next step is to hide um, the real image and hide um, the other tone effects. And then I'll make the background transparent and I'll save this. So once I'm done saving, um, um, the image so I'm going to go back and um, all right I'll just need to delete this one and then enable this right so okay I will still disable this and I will enable this one all right so I'll make this transparent again and then I'll save the tone paper with the angles, with the default angles, all right? So I'm just gonna go back again and then I will delete the thumb paper effects I have made and then I will enable the, um, I will enable the default or the initial image. So the next step here is to go over to your gallery. So I'll head to Pixel Lab, and firstly, I will import the the Tom paper, All right? So I'm going to import this, and without clicking on anything, I'll head over to Relative Size, and I will make this width and the height 100, just by increasing it. All right. 
So um, from here, I'll head over to texture and then I will pick the image. Yeah, the black and white image I made earlier. So I'll pick it as a texture. This way, as you can see, your um, the image has been maxed. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to use the max tool to take um, the other external parts outside all right, to eliminate those parts. All right. And before I do that, let me um, head to stroke and then enable this. You can take three, which should be great. Okay, I'm going to lock this. All right. So I'm going to use the mask right now. Okay, before I go on with the mask tool, guys, if you are new to my channel, kindly like the video, subscribe, and as well share it to your friends, all right? So I'll head over to Max, and if you don't really know how to use the mask tool very well, I'll drop a video in the video description so you can get to master the masking tool, all right? So I'll head over to the masking tool, and then I'm going to um, pause the audio. And you just see my steps all right okay 